Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel. Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot and this is your February 2022 love reading. This reading is for anyone who is currently in a romantic relationship or if it comes up, those in temporary separation with your person. And uh, if you are single and looking for new love, I will be posting separate readings just for you guys. So let's get right into it here and let's see what we've got coming out for February for you. February, please. Thank you very much. Number one. Uh, if you do enjoy this reading, by the way, please don't forget to hit that like button there. Also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And let's see what we've got. We've got why and we also have happy, happy. Very nice. Okay, so the why card is really an invitation to have a look at our intentions. Okay, um, so there may be something that you're planning or doing or something that's occurring around you at the moment and there may be a little bit of confusion. So the why card really does ask you to come back to center, to go within, and to think about what it is that you want, okay, and why you want something. Sometimes we get in those periods of quiet contemplation within a relationship. We think about where is this going? What is the potential? Where is it headed? Usually when we're kind of at a little bit of a turning point, okay? So some of you may actually be at that kind of turning point in your relationship in the month ahead, okay? And you might just be kind of questioning some things, and it's not that you don't necessarily trust anything but sometimes we just need to get in that energy and we need to just think about is this something that I kind of that I still want to pursue is there something that uh, you know where is this headed what are we doing where are we going right and it's actually healthy to do that but you may also find yourself in situations where you're being triggered by something, okay? And sometimes, you know, uh, you're all in different stages of your relationships. Some of you haven't been with your person for too, too long, and others you've been with your person a very long time. And, you know, but sometimes we just have those little triggers, um, things that happen within a relationship, and we just kind of like have this uh, reaction, and we don't always know why we have a certain reaction to something. So, you know, sometimes we do need to take that step back and think, why did I react that way? What is that triggering for me? Is this really because of the person that I'm with? Or is this something from long ago that this is kind of bringing up to the surface, maybe something that you haven't quite addressed? So the why, the why energy is really quite important for a deeper level of understanding. We also have happy, happy coming out here as well. So really all as well. Okay, this is an energy of happiness, contentment, joy. Okay, feeling really satisfied, feeling really good and being in a really good place um, in your relationship, all right? So it really does bring about unlimited potential. And again, you know, in this particular deck, whenever we see the eggs, uh, this does represent a new phase, a new opportunity, or a new something, okay? Something is uh, about to come to the surface there, okay? So, um, you know, so this could certainly represent some of you are at a little bit of a turning point, okay? And you're just feeling really good in your relationship, and, you know, you're feeling really happy. Perhaps you're about to step into the next phase, right? That, um, you know, um, that period of growth in your relationship, that turning point, if you will. Okay. Others of you, I think that you're probably going to have something in the month ahead that you're either just feeling really good. You're feeling really positive. Okay. Or you might even have, uh, some surprises that head your way there with that happy, happy. And, uh, so it's a really beautiful energy. And of course we do have Valentine's day, um, coming up in February. And for some, some people that can be a bit of a double-edged sword. Not everybody likes Valentine's Day. Some people really embrace it. They love it. And other people just kind of like, ugh. <laughs> so, um, but a lot of surprises sometimes happen around that time of year. We do get a lot of people that get engaged or, you know, they uh, deepen their commitment to their person in some other way. So there could certainly be something around there that uh, makes you really quite happy. But let's get into the rest of your reading here and see what we've got. We've got the Queen of Pentacles right in the heart of your reading. Crossing you, the Ten of Cups. Look at that. That's absolutely beautiful. Okay, so beneath you, we've got the Lover's card. Some nice soulmate energy there. Your recent past, the eight of so eight, Ace of Swords, excuse me. A little bit of clarity, some epiphanies. Perhaps that's answering the questions why. Above you, we've got the Justice card, crowning position, your thoughts, your goals, your possibilities. Okay, it's your conscious thoughts. Your near future, the Knight of Swords, very nice. 
Okay, I'm gonna go deeper into your cards. I'm just gonna pull them all first. The Nine of Wands is you, your current attitude, but also an advice card there, external influences. The King of Pentacles. Hmm, so there may be some family situation that's going on around you. Um, there could also be some uh, long-term commitment that's coming in here. We've got the King and Queen of Pentacles. So we do have a counterpart. We have soulmate energy there. And we also have the Lover's card. Okay, reiterating that. All right, but we also may have here a... Um, uh, an issue with uh, finding balance in a relationship and also possibly financial uh, things that are coming up here. But your hopes and your fears, we've got the three of wands, beautiful. And your overall outcome, we've got the fool. Look at that. Very lovely energy that's coming in there. And, uh, you know, again, right from the start of your reading, we do have this uh, turning point energy that's coming in here. Okay, so a little bit of a shift. So perhaps some of you have been going through some challenging times. Um, you may have been going through situations where uh, there's been a lot of distractions in your relationship and perhaps you haven't just spent a lot of time with your person. We do get in that energy. Life is busy, busy, busy and bustly, and we don't always find those moments to reconnect with our person, especially if we've got family issues or we've got, uh, you know, career issues or financial issues, things like that, right? Sometimes we just kind of, we don't really drift away necessarily, but sometimes we need to refocus and reconnect there. But I think some of you are really about to start a next phase in your relationship. You may have a surprise coming your way, especially with that Knight of Swords coming in there. All right. But certainly, um, you know, certainly happiness here is right at your doorstep. The heart of your reading, we do have the Queen of Pentacles. Now, this comes in with a long-term commitment energy. This is also a very nurturing, very loving, caring, kind energy as well. The Queen of Pentacles is one of abundance, okay? So, um, you know, taking care of your home, taking care of your nurturing, your relationship, okay? And being really grounded, um, you know, in your connection with your person, okay? And, you know, perhaps you are... Uh, perhaps you have are you're already living with your person. Um, perhaps you're contemplating moving in together. Okay, building that life together, building that home together. But the Queen of Pentacles is this um, wonderful, loving, caring energy, bringing about the sense of well-being, the sense of that deep connection. Okay, and you know it's um, for some of you with the Queen of Pentacles showing here, you've been with your person for a while. Okay, and you're really settling in, settling down. That that Queen of Pentacles is that nurturing energy within a relationship. Okay, a lot of, a lot of loving, a lot of caring, a lot of, um, you know, um, building a really wonderful, prosperous, abundant life with your person. Okay, and we do have the Ten of Cups that's crossing you. All right, so you know, perhaps some of you are just in this Y energy here, and. You know, and you're all, you're, you're really quite happy, okay? And you're looking for the potential, okay? So you're just, you know, you're just kind of in that energy where you're like, okay, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling pretty secure in my relationship. Now, let's see, is this something that I keep wanting, that I want to pursue? Is there something, you know, is there something that we can do a little bit better, right? Sometimes, sometimes we just kind of, you know, things go so well that we just question it, right? It's like, is this too good to be true, okay? I also think here with this, uh, you know, but the potential for long-term happiness, especially in the home and the family and that core inner well-being in your relationship is uh, really attainable for you right now. Okay. Um, the Ten of Cups crossing also can show a little bit of a waiting energy. Sometimes we have a delay on something here. So I think here there's something coming in in the month of February that is just going to make you really, really happy. Okay. And it's going to, it's going to make you feel as though you've hit the finish line. Okay. That you've accomplished something or that you're just in a really good place. You're at peace in this relationship. You're not wanting for anything more. You can weather any kind of ups and downs that uh, happen to come in for you. So, um, you know, so I think some of you are going to get a little bit of a surprise possibly, especially with the fool coming in there with that Knight of Swords as well. All right. And you also have the potential here for this deepening, wonderful connection. 
beneath you, your um, subconscious, okay, if you are thinking that this is a soulmate for you, okay, then uh, yeah, I think it very much might be, okay, with the lover's card, um, this could possibly even be a twin flame for you, okay, if you've been thinking along those lines, you've got this spiritual connection, we do have the justice card here, okay, bringing in this faded energy, this karmic connection with your person, okay, but we also have two energies of balance and harmony coming in here as well. So the lover's card, yes, it can represent um, balance and harmony in your relationship. And if there's something kind of, um, you know, uh, throwing you off kilter at the moment, I think you're going to kind of reconnect here, okay? Because you do have this deep spiritual bond with your person. There's a lot of love in this connection, a lot of love with the Ten of Cups, a lot of love coming in with the lover's card there. Okay. And, um, you know, it's, uh, really very, um, beautiful. It's, it, it's a very, uh, a very kind of stable energy that's coming in here. And even though we do have some excitement, we do have some swift action and some momentum that's going to happen here. Okay. It just feels like it's solid, stable, um, uh, really positive connection with your person. Okay. Now, some of you here with the lover's card, okay. Um, the lover's card, this can just show that you're deepening your bond with your person. Okay. Or that you already have this deep bond and you know it. Okay. But the lover's card, uh, quite often does have us making choices as well. So, you know, so, you know, this underlying energy here with the lover's card, um, it's really about choices, matters of the heart. Okay. And so again, some of you with that why energy, you just might be um, in that period of contemplation, right? And sometimes we just get in that little reflective energy and we're like, yep, you know what? Do I have a choice here at the moment? Okay. And you know what? Your choice looks like it's going to be really happy and positive for you. But sometimes we just need to understand why we're with this person or why we love this person, right? Deeper level of understanding never hurt anybody. Okay. But this is uh Gemini energy with the lover's card coming in here, Libra energy with the justice card. And, um, you know, so it's, uh, really all about this balance and harmony in your relationship. Okay. Also finding the truth, the, um, justice card has us being honest, has us being truthful. Okay. And has us making really good decisions. So we've got choices down below and we've got really good decisions um, and finding solutions to things up above. So there could certainly be something here, um, where balance is in question. Okay. It could just be that, uh, you know, two people are about to come into harmony. Okay. Um, there may be with the King of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords. All right. There may be, uh, an offer of a deeper level of commitment a higher level of commitment, maybe even an engagement, um, things like that. It could even be a reconnection, but there may also be an important discussion, um, that happens along the way. Okay. About, um, each person's kind of role or responsibilities in your relationship. Right. And sometimes we get a little bit off balance and we need to come back to center. Right. And especially if someone is maybe focusing on career and money, or maybe there's a lot of external distractions in a relationship and one person is maybe, um, you know, kind of, uh, really holding everything together and the other person has other things to do and focus on. So this may be the month where things really do kind of come back and click into the level of harmony that they are supposed to right? that equal level playing field there. Cause you know, that balance um, that balance really is important and I'm feeling a really important discussion. Okay. Coming in, um, for, you know, for a lot of you, right. And this could just really just throw you into a deeper level understanding and take your relationship to the next level. Okay. The ace of swords here is in your recent past. Now time is fluid, especially with the major arcana that's going on in your inner world here with the lovers and the justice card. So the ace of swords here, this is really about, um, new conversations or that spark, that new way of thinking, those epiphany moments. Okay. The hand of fate and karma intervene. All right. In your, um, in your relationship or in your, um, way of thinking here. So this sparks new conversations, um, new possibilities. Okay. Or a new way of doing things, this little bit of a shift. And this puts you, um, moves you forward. Okay. Into, um, you know, being really successful. Okay. 
okay, with, you know, finding the answers, finding the solutions, okay, having those conversations, all of these things. So you may actually have a little bit of a deeper knowing that there is an important conversation because we do have this communication that's coming in here. All right. Um, someone could have already come up to you, right? This uh, recent past can be today, yesterday, a few weeks ago. Okay. And you know, you may, uh, your spidey senses may actually be tingling a little bit. Your intuition may be going off the charts and you just might have this deep inner knowing that there's something really exciting about to happen. Okay. But the ace of swords can also just bring in this fresh way of thinking. Okay. A different way of communicating or even um, enhancing how you and your person talk talk to each other, communicate with each other. Okay, because those aces are usually their gifts from the universe. Okay, that seed of opportunity showing a full potential. Okay, to reach that finish line. The um, you know the ace of swords does bring about an element of victory and success. Okay, and you know really um, uh, being able to say what you need to say. Okay, so whether it brings in new or improved um, ways of thinking or communication. Okay, it is a really important energy. It brings in a little bit of luck um, to your situation as well, but it really does show here that you've got very much a faded connection um, going on here. Okay, this, um, you know, this karmic connection with your person. Okay, you probably uh, have those moments. Uh, some of them may be very unexplainable. Okay, especially if you're, especially if you're in a newer relationship, right? Then it's, this is really where we kind of get in that energy of you know, questioning things or looking at uh, looking at things a little bit deeper or having those, uh, you know, those uh, conversations. But where are we going? Where are we headed? You know, all of these things. And, um, you know, but we, we also get there, uh, you know, in that energy sometimes as our connection deepens with our person as well. So anyways, but the, um, the aces always bring a little bit of luck, a little bit of spark. Okay. And, you know, also helps us bring in um, some clarity, Okay, clarity and a sense of focus. All right, come in with that uh, Ace of Swords. So really is quite an important energy. It's like seeing the light, seeing things clearly, but also your intuition is probably bringing you some sort of epiphany moments, okay, or some clarity. All right, and, uh, you know, just again, you may have just an inkling that there's something exciting on the horizon. We do have the Justice card coming in here. So this Libran energy, okay, bringing, yes, balance and harmony. And this is in your crowning position, Okay, so this is your goals, your thoughts, your possibilities. This is what you know, what you're actively thinking about. So, you know, you may really have this deeper level of understanding that, yes, this person is who I'm meant to be with. I've got a deeper connection with this person. Okay, and I'm destined to be with this person, right? You just, it's something, a level of understanding that maybe is a little bit, how should we say, um, unexplainable. Okay. Um, but the justice card also shows that maybe there's, again, some important decisions to be made. Okay. And you're going to find those solutions by being open, by being honest, by being truthful, not just with yourself, but also maybe with your person as well. Okay. And you know, it starts with that ace of swords. It's like, you know what, I think we need to talk about something or, you know, if there's been something that has been uh, a challenge or an issue, okay, something may be standing in your way of some sort, maybe even some legal situation that they do, uh, they are highlighted with the justice card there, perhaps some financial situations, an employer, um, you know, a divorce settlement, okay, custody battles, all of those things, all right, can sometimes uh, represent with that justice card. So, you know, you could see a light at the end of the tunnel. If there's been something in that regard, um, but the justice card really does bring about that honesty, that truth, that ability to make balanced and fair decisions, decisions that are non-judgmental. Okay. And, you know, just things that are, you know, the right decisions for you, for your person in the right moment. Okay. Um, but the justice card is also number 11. 11s do sometimes represent those new beginnings, those fresh starts, those leveling up, right? And when we talk about new beginnings in a relationship, it's not necessarily, oh, I'm going to dump this person. I'm going to find someone new. Okay. We're always evolving in our connection with this person. And, you know, I, I think that for at least some of you here, this could potentially be a twin flame connection. 
Okay, certainly a soulmate connection, but I think for some of you, it actually goes a little bit deeper in that. Okay, we do have, you know, masculine and feminine here. We do have this, um, you know, this uh, spiritual connection here with the lover's card, a very spiritual connection here, possibly with that justice card. But if we look at the numbers as well, okay, we do have 1111 coming out on the board for you. Justice card number 11, Ace of Swords is a 1, and the 10 of Cups, yes, it's a 10, but it reduces down into a 1. So we've got 1111 right here, okay? So I think for some of you, this is a twin flame for you, okay? And I think for others of you, obviously, it's this, um, you know, just really loving connection, possibly a soulmate. We've got a lot of those, but we only have one twin flame. Not everyone believes in twin flame, okay? But if you think that this is your, your twin flame, I think you're already going to know. Okay, um, because you just have this connection that is unexplainable and it's instant and it's uh, magical. Okay, and you know, while some people will say yes, that uh, you know, a, a twin flame connection is a very spiritual connection, okay, and um, but it requires for it to be successful, okay, in this lifetime, we're not all meant to meet our twin flames in this lifetime. But in order for that connection to be successful, both people need to be spiritually ascended. If one person has not completed their homework, shall we say, okay, and if they're repeating the same patterns over and over and over again and they haven't um, raised their vibration, they haven't expanded their consciousness, they haven't cleared out past life, that's life stuff or anything like that, then yes, sometimes you do get, unfortunately, that runner and chaser. Right. And you do get that back and forth energy and you get together and you break up, you get together and you break up. And it's like when you get together, it's magical for a time and then it goes to crap. Right. Because one person is at a different level than the other person is. But looking at your um, at your cards coming out here. OK, I'm not seeing a runner chaser a scenario here. What I am seeing is a deepening of a connection of a bond. So if you're thinking that this is your twin flame, OK, I would say that follow your instincts and trust your intuition because I think that it is correct. Okay. So just saying, all right. But others of you, I think you've got something to decide. Okay. That justice card there. I think there's some important, a really important conversation that is going to come to light, whether you instigate this conversation or whether your person does. I think it holds great importance in your relationship and it moves you forward. Now it could just be something of a surprise. Maybe someone around Valentine's Day is just planning something really exciting for you. Maybe something a little bit unexpected. Maybe something, um, you know, that you kind of wanted, okay, or expressed that you wanted. The Ace of Swords, you could actually be dropping some hints, okay? It's like, oh, this would be really nice, um, you know, and but maybe something that you didn't quite expect as well, right? So uh, I think there's something really exciting there, but I think some of you have some really important uh, commitment decisions to make with your person, especially with that justice card coming in there, which quite often does represent a legal union, a legal partnership. So perhaps some of you have an engagement coming in here, especially the Knight of Swords, bringing in some excitement, some fresh energy, uh, bursting onto the scene. And again, Ten of Cups, King and Queen of Pentacles. Hello. All right. I think some of you are perhaps uh, looking to make a large purchase. Okay, in the month ahead, maybe you're buying a home together. Maybe you're moving in together. Um, I'm getting an odd little energy here. It's obviously not for the collective. I think someone's going to elope. And you know why? Because, yes, we have the Justice card. Yes, we've got the Lover's card. But we've got this little spark with that Ace of Swords. It's like, hey, I have an idea. We have this swift action okay maybe a little bit of an impulsive energy coming in with the knight of swords and of course the fool can sometimes represent something a little spontaneous okay some some spontaneous adventure there all right so uh i am getting the i am getting the energy that at least someone may actually elope now maybe you're only going to do something boring and go to the justice of the peace because maybe you can't travel at the moment okay but it is something quick and impulsive and just it's like yep you know what why wait all right. Or maybe you've waited long enough and you're like, OK, this 10 of cups here, I'm waiting for my day. I'm waiting for my celebration. And you might be just going like, you know what? Forget it. Let's just go. 
Okay. Um, so anyways, so yeah, so we are getting that swift energy, right? So anyways, so, uh, so I think some of you are going to enter into some sort of legal situation with your person. Okay. And again, it can be a large purchase. It can be moving in together, or it can be actually getting married or even that eloping kind of energy as well. Okay. But I also get a little bit of a residual energy there with that justice card and the king of pentacles that I think some of you, um, someone out there, uh, you know, that there is a conclusion of something coming in here quick. Okay. Maybe something that's been dragging on uh, for a while. And again, those legal situations, possibly with a past person, okay, or something that affects your finances in some way, especially that King of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, and that Justice card bringing out those um, final decisions and those uh, solutions, okay? So I think uh, some of you are probably going to have an increase in your finances, okay? You're going to wrap up some sort of legal situation that's maybe had you hanging in the weeds for a little bit, and um, it's actually going to be really exciting, maybe even a little bit more than you expected. But at the very least, it will be balanced, fair, and just, okay, in that whatever decision is coming your way. But we do have the Knight of Swords in your near future, okay? So this is really a, that there's that impulsive energy that's coming in there, okay? But there's also that uh, harbinger of good news, okay? The Knight of Swords is quite often, um, quite often regarded a messenger, bringing in some news, some information, even possibly an epiphany moment, especially if there's been something that you've been thinking about, but quite often it's something incoming, something coming towards you. So this could certainly bring some good news, a very important conversation, okay, but also bringing in that uh, little bit of impulsive, spontaneous kind of energy there as well. It's like, hey, you know what? Let's do this, okay? And it's something that is very exciting that comes in here, okay? Um, you know, or if, even just a fresh idea of something, right? Okay, so, but maybe something here brings you in some information or some really good news, um, maybe even a proposal, uh, especially with that King of Pentacles coming in there, a proposal, an offer of long-term commitment, whatever it is, you might actually need to uh, be a little bit quick on your feet and make a really good decision. Okay. The nine of wands here shows, uh, this is your, you, your current attitude, what you think of the situation, but also an advice card. Okay. And the nine of wands, uh, you know, shows an energy that, um, you know, um, carries a little bit of skepticism with it. Okay. Um, a little bit of doubt and that's, you know, that could certainly be where the why energy comes in. That's where the lover's card comes in, right? Those important choices, those matters of the heart. Okay. The Knight of Swords could bring in some news and there's that lover's card. It's like, I have an important decision to make and thank goodness that the justice card is here. Uh, okay. To help me to make that decision, to give me the clarity that I'm looking for. Okay, so, um, you know, so you may just be uh, questioning, um, you know, just having a look at your relationship and, you know, thinking, okay, um, I've come this far, now what? Is it is it going to be really positive moving forward or, you know, am I just kind of spinning my wheels here a little bit? The Nine of Wands can also show a situation where you may need to put up some healthy boundaries, okay, or you um, are starting to get a little bit tired. And we already did have a little bit earlier some energy coming out here where there may be a little bit of um, imbalance in the relationship, and that's why this balanced energy, this uh, harmony is uh, so, so important and so prevalent in your reading. So it could certainly be that there's been something that has been a little bit draining, um, draining your energy, draining your time, draining your resources in other ways. It could certainly be a legal situation, okay, but it can also be, um, you know, that uh, there's been some distractions or some issues in your relationship, okay, and it can be external things as well, your money, your career, family issues, okay, all of those things, and it's like, oh man, that nine of wands, it's like, okay, I'm ready for something a little bit better, a little bit lighter, a little bit brighter, okay? So if you need to put up some boundaries, then that advice there is to put up some boundaries, okay? Express yourself in a really positive way of what's important to me. What do I what am I looking for? What do I, what are my expectations? And sometimes you need to 
have those really important conversations so that you and your person can really be on the same page or you're letting someone know what you're looking for, what you're expecting, right? All back to that why kind of energy there. All right. But, um, but I think that whatever conversation that you need to have, I think you're going to have it. If you need to put up boundaries, I think you're going to do that in a very positive way. Okay. And you know, this is the nine of wands here as an advice card. Okay. Shows that maybe you need to take a little bit of a rest. Okay. Maybe you and your person have had a lot of things going on. Okay. It's been a really rough 2021 for a lot of people. Okay. Uh, January there's, you know, bills, there's uh, distractions from other, um, other areas. And so I just think February is maybe your time where you can take a load off and even have a little bit of a break, um, somewhere. All right. The three of wands is potentially a planning, a travel, a planning, some sort of travel as is the fool. Okay. So maybe you and your person are having a little quick getaway for a night, a weekend, maybe a week, um, you know, or maybe just something a little bit spontaneous, right? Go out and have some fun for a day, something to, you know, maybe take a load off your mind, okay, to uh, reconnect and, uh, you know, just have a good time, okay? Um, so the Nine of Wands just shows that, you know, yes, there's maybe some boundaries there, some important conversations, something that you may be looking for some answers for, you're questioning, Okay, but it also is an energy of completion of something that's maybe been draining. Okay, and you have the um, opportunity here to kind of get things back on track. Okay, your external influences, we do have the king of pentacles here. Now, this is about success, abundance, okay, taking the lead. Um, the pentacles uh, certainly here can represent, um, you know, both you and maybe your person, okay, or maybe something outside the home. So money or career may be at play in your relationship, okay, maybe it's um, a little bit of a distraction, okay. Uh, the king of pentacles can sometimes represent a large purchase of some sort, and especially with that knight of swords there, and the queen of pentacles is certainly certainly can be about um, focused on the home. Okay, so um, perhaps you and your person are really considering moving in together. Okay, or there's, um, you know, some uh, equality, let's say that's needed within the home. Okay. Or making, you know, again, a large purchase of some sort, but there could also be this legal situation possibly that someone's dealing with here. And I think you're going to get some really good news. I think something's going to wrap up. Something is very imminent on the horizon. You're getting some good news there. And, um, I think maybe it's going to wrap up in an incredibly positive way for you. It's been draining with the nine of wands there. Okay. You're feeling like, Oh my God, is this ever going to end? And yes, it looks like you're probably getting some really good news in that regard. Now, the King of Pentacles, we also do see, of course, the masculine and the feminine here, okay? And this King of Pentacles is that energy surrounding you for the month, okay? Your external environment energy. And, you know, it could certainly represent an offer or an opportunity for that long-term commitment with your person, okay? Or the opportunity here to restore that balance um, and that, you know, certainly makes you really quite happy, okay? This is an energy of um, abundance, prosperity, success, stability, security, and all for the long-term, long-term commitments, all of this really highlighted here for you, okay? Um, but the King of Pentacles can also represent a person that has an influence, <laughs> So it could certainly represent somebody like a banker, uh, a financial advisor, right? Sometimes we're waiting for some really good news. Okay. We're waiting for a decision. Okay. The, um, could be like a judge. Okay. Um, but it could also be a family member as well. Um, you know, maybe you and your person are entering into some sort of legal agreement or something. Maybe you're getting a loan from a family member. It could possibly be. Okay, um, but the King of Pentacles in the upright is somebody who is very practical, someone who's got a good head on their shoulders. Okay, they're grounded in their energy. They may be uh, giving some really good advice. That flipped over. Um, someone that can give some really good advice or maybe even provide some solutions somewhere along the way. Okay, especially if there's been some issues or, you know, something that's been dragging on for a while, it can certainly represent 
um, that person. All right. So I'm just going to get a little bit more external energy here. We do have the Ace of Wands, okay? So some new opportunities, something exciting coming in here, something that's bringing you some motivation, okay? Some fresh energy, okay? And that's exciting energy that's coming in, an opportunity to move forward, to seize the moment, to seize the day. So certainly could have some, um, you know, some new beginnings, fresh starts, those improvements, okay? Maybe even something that, uh, you know, again, um, you know, some new information about your money, your finances, okay, all of these things. But there certainly is this fresh energy here for, you know, to follow your passion, your goals, okay, maybe even to reconnect and light the spark, the flame in your relationship. Sometimes, you know, sometimes when we get together with people, we're kind of we're solid, we're stable, we're secure, but we don't always focus on maybe our connection with our person we said a little bit earlier so that ace of wands there shows the uh potential there to um you know maybe reconnect physically okay uh light your flame so to speak okay the ace of wands is a very uh, very kind of physical kind of energy there. Okay. So, um, really very exciting, whatever it happens to be. Okay. That's your second ace that's coming out there actually. And, uh, we also have the hanged man here as well. The hanged man does bring in, um, a slower energy. Okay. But you know, temporarily, uh, temporarily, um, I think something that has been, you've been waiting for for a while, I think the Ace of Wands here, I think there's some new information, some fresh energy, a different perspective, okay, and this allows you to move forward. The Hanged Man also shows that there may be some opportunity or some, uh, you know, something that comes in here. Again, the King of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands, okay, you could certainly represent a proposal or something of some sort, okay, or just this, hey, babe, I've got this really good idea, okay, and the Hanged Man comes in, it's like, hmm, okay, hold on, let me think about that for a minute, okay, this little bit of quiet contemplation, look at things from a different kind of angle or different perspective, okay, or maybe even the uh, ability or opportunity there to see someone else's point of view and it's like aha yes okay yes thank you I see your point of view let's go let's move forward so the hanged man can certainly bring about um you know a little bit of um how should we say uh brings patience to the mix okay but I think this is really a situation here for the majority of you I think um because we do have the three of swords coming out as well so I think something that you've been waiting for for a long time Okay, you've been really patient, that uh, hanged man there, and I think you're going to start to see a shift there, okay, and something that has maybe brought you a little bit of sadness or some grief, okay, but right now you've got the um, opportunity to heal. Um, sometimes the three of swords brings in a little bit of heartbreak for something, okay, so, but I see a resolution here, okay, but the three of swords also brings in the ability to heal from a situation as well. So if there's been something that has dragged on for a while with that hanged man there, we see that with the nine of wands as well. Okay, I think you're going to see this big shift. I think you're going to uh, get some information, an opportunity, a good news. Okay, or you're just going to see a forward shift in your relationship um, where things get a little bit better. Things are a little bit more exciting. Okay, and maybe focus on your connection with your person there as well. Okay. And, um, you know, especially if there's been any kind of disappointment or sometimes we're patiently waiting for something. Okay. And then we start to get a little bit down in the dumps with that three of, uh, three of swords. And then all of a sudden something exciting happens. Okay. To move us forward. And so some of you, I think that your intuition is, sh is really showing you that there is something exciting coming in here for you. And now you're just kind of drumming your fingers and you're like waiting, 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 just as you start to get disappointed. Okay. Just as you are about to give up there, I think, boom, something shifts there for you. Okay. But I think you're getting some really good news, whatever your situation is here. Okay. That, um, shifts you into high gear. Okay. Kicks it up a notch. Okay. And you know, but maybe you even need to change direction on something here. You need to let something go with that three of swords. Okay. Something that's maybe hasn't been working out, maybe some plans that haven't been working out. Okay. And you've done your best. You've like, you know, looked under every rock and all that to try and make something happen. And now here with this Ace of Wands, you've got some fresh ins inspiration. So I think those of you have maybe been trying to plan a celebration or a wedding or something like that, or maybe even make a purchase, move in together. Okay. I think that, you know, something maybe has just not gone your way. 
okay, for a while. And I think you're going to get that fresh start. Okay. You're really going to see that shift. Okay. You're going to get those answers or you're even going to maybe just do something completely different. Okay. Uh, cause that, um, you know, that hanged man energy can really about be flipping the script. Okay. Just, um, you know, uh, saying, okay, you know what, let's just do things differently. I'm just going to surrender. Okay. I'm just going to go with the flow and let's just see where the chips fall. Let's just see what happens. So, you know, um, again, for some of you, you could just be like, you know what, forget it. I've wanted a wedding for so long or maybe now it's not really important and let's just elope. Let's go to the justice of the peace and then let's just take off and go on a honeymoon, okay? Um, so certainly some exciting energy coming in there, okay? And I think there's maybe something that's um, uh, either is a little bit disappointing, but it's super positive at the same time, okay? Or this is the opportunity here that something you've been waiting for, something that has been a little caused a little bit of disappointment or some grief, and I think you're going to see that shift. Three of Wands is your hopes and fears, okay? And the Three of Wands is really more of a hopeful energy than anything else, okay? And, you know, this really is, um, it really is that energy of, you know, kind of knowing what you want. You've got a plan in place, okay? Or you've got an idea of the direction that you're headed in and you're looking to move forward. The Three of Wands is one of not just having a plan, but getting ready to take some action and move forward. Okay. And you know, we've got those two wands planted in the ground, giving a little bit of stability there. And then we have this person there looking out to the horizon. There's no more blocks. Everything is clear. The path forward is clear. You can almost see your future clearly. Okay. The three of wands is an energy of expansion. And then, you know, um, waiting for the right opportunity, the right moment, and then boom, you take the, uh, take advantage of the opportunity that head your way, but it's about keep um, being open as well. Okay. So I think that, you know, you're really hopeful for the future here. Okay. You're looking to, for, to resolve some issues or you're just looking to move forward and you know, you've got an open mind and open heart and you are ready. Okay. For whatever comes your way, <clears throat> excuse me, or you're also ready to change your direction in some way. But I think here that, you know, with that three of wands, I think that you're really hopeful that, you know, that you will move forward with something that you'll make the right decision, the right choices, or you'll find the right opportunity. And with the three of wands, the two wands planted in the ground, she is holding one more wand, that ace. Okay. And that ace has come out here. So I think you are ultimately really hopeful in whatever situation you happen to have going on. Okay. You know, your path is clear. You know, your obstacles have been removed. Okay. Or they're about to, and you are about to take the next step and move forward. All right. We've got the fool card coming out here as your overall outcome. So this brings in this exciting new energy. Okay. A fresh step, a fresh phase, something exciting, maybe something a little bit spontaneous. Okay. A new level of your relationship. And you know, the fool card really does bring in an energy of jumping into something with both feet. And sometimes in a relationship, we've got, you know, kind of one foot in and one foot out. Okay. We're kind of, we've got that level of commitment, but not a hundred percent. The fool commits a hundred percent and jumps right in. Okay. Jumps in the deep end. Okay. Uh, takes that leap of faith. You might not necessarily know what the entire future holds for you, but you're really excited to be there and you're really excited to have the opportunity. So, you know, again, with that kind of impulsive, spontaneous kind of energy there with the Knight of Swords. I think there's just a big shift coming in for you. There's this, um, you know, new opportunities. Okay. Maybe you have a different way of doing things, but again, this exciting energy, the fool card can represent travel as can the three of wands as well. Okay. And you know, so it's not just a metaphorical moving forward for some of you, you might actually be physically planning a trip or a vacation or a getaway or something along those lines. But the fool brings about this wonderful, fresh energy, bringing in the next step, the next phase, um, bringing in some excitement, bringing in some fun. Okay. Some fun and laughter and all of these things and really kind of not having a care in the world, so to speak. Okay. So I just think that whatever has kind of been lingering in the weeds, okay, or whatever you've been waiting for, I think you're about to get it. And then this just really brings in something to celebrate. Okay. And something to be really 
um, happy about. Okay, very much like that happy, happy. Okay, and this happy, happy, these eggs are the birth of something new, the next step, the next phase, those surprises. Okay, and as that fool card brings in there as well. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there for you guys. Okay, and uh, yeah, it looks like a really good month for you. Okay, don't be afraid to have conversations if you need to have one. All right. Sometimes we put those conversations off because we sometimes overthink things and we're like, oh, my God, what if this conversation doesn't go my way? All right. But uh, I think whatever you whatever you talk about, I think you're going to resolve whatever it is you need to resolve or you're going to, um, you know, make the right decisions for you. OK, so I'm going to leave that there, but I'm going to close out your reading here with a couple of last cards and let's just see here last messages please last messages please let's see there we go so there's your first card when you pass from this world you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love okay it's not about your material things it's all about those connections, those memories, that family, that 10 of cups is happiness, ultimate, uh, very good, have a lot of happiness, okay, in a lot of areas, but especially in the home and the family. And it looks like you're really trying to build a really good life here. You already have one and uh, you're really just enjoying where you're at, enjoying the moment there. So really focus on that connection, okay, those matters of the heart there, okay, everything else will be okay. And there's your next card. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. Okay. There is that why energy kind of coming in here. Sometimes we overthink and overanalyze something and it's like, you know what? Just go with your heart. And there's your final card. And it says, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Follow your heart, listen to your intuition, and you will never go astray. I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something here that resonated for you. If there was, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic February, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.